Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, there are many surgical and non-surgical ways you can achieve the look you desire. Joining me today is Dr. Jared Nims from Commonwealth Plastic Surgery to discuss these procedures. How are you, my friend? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's been a while since it you've has. been in. Yeah. Okay, why is non-surgical procedures skyrocketing? You're seeing more and more of them as well. We are. I think most people are interested in something that is a little less expensive, a little less downtime. They want something that they can come in quickly, have something done, and then move off to whatever event that they want to go to and, and look fabulous. But it's just expanding. Yeah. The, the surgical ways are still what we need long term, yeah. if that's the path you want to go down to. But men and, having non-surgical, men are now having these procedures. Yeah, um, and men and women, and they're interested because I think it's it's easier, and it's easier to come in and have something that that's quick, and they can get basically a, a small something out of it, and not have that that major downtime yeah. that you can still get with with a, a major procedure. However. As we all age, and as the American population is aging, yeah. those bigger surgical procedures may see a comeback. Well, that's why we need people like you. Right. Okay, now we're going to bring up some examples yep. of some before and afters that we chose. And we're talking the first one to begin with. Now, this is a tummy tuck, but we're going to talk about this is a surgical operation, but what could you have had done if it was non-surgical? There's a lot of things that you could do for this patient. Okay. One of them uh, would be something like a cool sculpting or some kind of non-surgical lipolysis. Right. Okay? There are a bunch of different methods out there. The, the issue with those is that they may not give you the amount of tightness. Because she's tight. She is very tight uh, in that post-operative picture. And so I, I don't think you're going to get the amount of tightness that you would get with a tummy tuck. So the question is one of expectation. Yeah, okay. Let's bring up the second picture that you've got here as well. Now, when you have a non-surgical, of course, it's less downtime mm -hmm. that we're talking about as well. Right. And it's a considerable cost difference. It is. Okay. Do you think it's a factor of cost when it comes to people's decision? It, it's... I think it's easier for them to accept smaller chunks of uh, cost th rather than one bigger one. Yeah. And so for something, say, like cool sculpting, where, oh, hey, I can only spend so much time. But the problem with that is that you may need multiple treatments. And in the long run, it may be just as much or not more I was about to do to the say cool sculpting versus liposuction. And a longer process, and long a longer term. Process. It's, it's over a year to almost two years. Right. Also, let's bring up the next one as well and show us now this, what is what you done? So so this is a uh, liposuction patient, oh. and these, uh, these are all pictures that are taken off of PlasticSurgery.org. And this patient has had some liposuction at their flanks and at their inner and outer thighs. Wow. Uh, and so this patient had one procedure versus having to have multiple uh, cool sculpting sessions. So this is what you call a surgical procedure, and liposuction. Is, and, and this is uh, a great result. She looks amazing. Yeah. Incredible. Let's bring up the next one. And I think we're doing something about the neck as well. Yeah. So, and these, these next couple pictures show you the difference between what you can achieve with surgery versus non-surgical -sur procedures. She's had surgery, obviously. obviously She's had yeah. a, a facelift, neck lift. And you can see where that excess skin is there on, mm. on just below her chin. And the only way to address that is, is with surgery. Can I be honest? Doesn't the neck look amazing? <laughs> she looks really good. Wow. Yeah. So, and, and the only way to achieve that is with something where you're going to really tighten that skin. Yeah. And so, for instance, liposuction or cool sculpting or something yeah. like that, even dermal filler is not going to achieve that. Well, let's bring up that dermal filler. We've got one here. This is before and after of facial fillers. Right. So this is non-surgical. Right. This is someone who has just had a basically off-the-shelf filler injected into the lines between her nose and her lips and so forth. And they have filled that in where she has lost yeah. some volume from aging. Um, and that's something that's, that's easy enough to do. It's Just lunchtime. Right, exactly. Half yeah. an hour it takes uh, in an appointment in the office. Dr. Nims, I think that looks amazing. And it does take at least five to ten years off your face as well. Yeah. One of the best things that we want to share with everyone at home, Dr. Nims and his office are being very generous. We want to offer you an incredible promotion. Buy one syringe of Sculpture and get one free. Guys, this is a value of seven hundred dollars. It's valid until February 28. This is the phone number to give them a call on right now. There it is, 
859-951-5080. There's their Facebook, there's their um, office address as well, and their website. Dr. Nims, thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it. We'll be right back after this short break, everyone. You're watching Midday Kentucky.